The Liebherr R970 SME is a big excavator weighing around 78 tonnes. It's high output with SME standing for super mass excavation. The model comes in a typical Liebherr branded box so let's open it up and see what's inside. And as usual there are a pair of expanded polystyrene trays. But hey that's unusual this box seems to have a special self unsealing function. Whatever will they think of next. It's come out with the bottom on the top so we need to flip it so the top is on the top and not the bottom. And it turns out the self unsealing function wasn't real so we still have to slit the tape. And there's the model sitting inside and it's wrapped in clear film to protect the paintwork. There are no instructions for the model because there's no assembly to do. And there's no assembly to do because this model is complete out of the box. <laughs> Starting underneath there is some detailing of the undercarriage and body. The double grouser metal tracks are very nice with bolt head detailing. And the metal ladder and drive sprocket look really good too. The cab also has a high standard of detailing with metal mirrors and grab rails. And the plastic protection guards are very sharply defined. The curved body shape is modelled well and the graphics are very sharp. Another very nice touch is the etched metal grille and walkways. There are some very nice tiny warning graphics which add to the look. And as a really good small detail there's a mesh cover on the light. Looking down on top of the body there's more good detailing and plenty of hydraulic hoses run to the boom. The main rams are also built for tough work with nice protection covers. And the standard of the hydraulics overall is very good with realistic pipes and hoses. Looking in close up the rivets are realistically painted and there's another mesh cover on the boom lights. The metal bucket is also a very good casting with lifting eyes and excellently formed teeth. Here we are again in the cranes etc test area. And although the metal tracks won't roll on a smooth surface they are extremely free rolling. So WSI have done a good job with the model engineering of the tracks. And it's no surprise to see them rolling well on a rough surface. If you've ever felt that your life is in a spin, well that's how the Cranes Etc operator feels now. The R970 rotates well, and it's nice and smooth with no hint of rocking of the body. Now we move on to the main digging functions of this super mass excavation machine. And the first thing to note is that the hydraulic rams are very stiff. That does mean that you have to hold the model carefully when you try to move the boom and stick. And also be prepared to flex your muscles a bit. The range of movement is very good and for a big machine it folds up small. But in fact you can also see how stiff the rams are. And that's because the plastic jackets show some signs of yielding as the piston inside moves. Also unfortunately the cranes etc anti-gravity mode is broken. So we'll put the R970 on top of a massive Liebherr box in order to demonstrate digging at depth. It does well and for sure a big excavator sitting on a giant box is not something you'll see every day. In summary this is a really good excavator model by WSI. It's heavy and feels solid and robust. And the best aspect of the model is the detailing. With some of the smaller details being really intricate. It would have been nice to have a removable bucket but the features are good and overall this model is outstanding. Mm -hmm. 